back, guys, to another episode of The Wolf Among Us. This is the craziest thing ever. We are fighting like 50 bloody heroes right now. This is absolutely oh. oh my gosh, this is insane. No way we're surviving this. Oh my gosh, come on, baby, you got it. We just have to find the right one, I hope. Hopefully there's like this like doppelganger. We find the right one and stops all of us. Oh shit. Oh shit. Are you kidding? Oh <laughs> This is our fourth floor, bitches. Let's go. We're actually a wolf now. Holy shit, no way. We aren't a werewolf anymore, we're an actual wolf. Sit on her ass. There you go. Yes. Get her ass. You know that one's her, yep. Oh gosh! Spit it out! Oh, that's... That looks like it really... Ooh. That looks like it really hurt. I guess that wasn't the one that we wanted. Jesus, they're never in me. Uh oh. Oh, he's gonna blow. He's gonna huff and puff and blow your house down. Yes! That's her. Okay, good. I thought she was going to my eye with that. Oh my gosh, dude, I can't believe that just happened. Big B is one bad mother ch He's naked right now. Blood all over his mouth. Crooked man, you know I'm coming for you, bitch ass. Oh, you better be shaking your boots over there, son. Hello, Big B. You look tired. Give me one good reason not to rip you apart right now. Shit. This gun holds six rounds of specially designed silver bullets. Now, I may not be the best shot, but I can guarantee that at least one bolt will meet its mark, and you'll find yourself rolling on the floor in agony, unable to heal yourself. Without Swineheart to save you, you'll die. Is that reason enough for you? Before you do anything with me, I thought I should point out a few things. Snow White wants you to bring me back to the woodlands, doesn't she? And that's what I want. That's right. But what happens to you once you get there is a different story. I'm not quite finished. You will bring me back alive. Look, all I ask for is the chance to speak for myself in front of the community. And I'm sure Miss White would agree that I should be given a fair trial. Can we at least Agreed. agree on that? I will have a trial. Are we clear? The whole town will be calling for your execution. Why would you want me to bring you back there? Why don't you let me worry about that? 
Look, there's no reason for us to be at each other's throats here. That's funny, coming from a guy pointing a gun at my head. This is just a precaution. I'm sure you understand. I'm no murderer, Mr. Wolf. I didn't kill those women. And I think you know that. All I'm asking for is a chance to explain my side of the story. If you're not a killer, then what are you? I believe Georgie. I'm a businessman, not a killer. There's still a lot you have to answer for. And I will, as long as you agree to my terms. Because I'm not saying another word until I'm brought before the community. Okay. I need to belabor the point. But just so we're clear, if you change your mind and decide to do something stupid, You won't get your answers, but you will have a difficult time explaining yourself to Miss White and the rest of this miserable town. Why does he keep backing up like you're that? Often reckless, and I worry you're not thinking of the. Let me ask you an honest question: What do you really care about here? Where this case is concerned, I mean, do you really want the truth, or do you just want to look like the hero? Because those are two very different things. This is about protecting Fable Town. When some asshole murders two of our people, it's my job to bring them down. Then why are you here? You know who murdered them. Georgie. He's dead, isn't he? My point being, the killer has been dealt with. You've won. You really think I'm that stupid? I understand you have an obligation to bring me in, but you can brighten up a little. It's over. So, shall we get going? I'd rather not dawdle. You know, I'm actually looking forward to seeing Miss White again. My previous interactions with her have gone rather well. All right, let's go. Hand over the gun. I think I'd rather hold on to it, if you don't mind. What do you say? Fine. Hey! <laughs> I'm sure Miss White will be pleased. Such a reliable pup. I understand why she'd want to keep you around. You're under arrest. We're gonna play things gonna nice for now. I'm not promising peers. that I won't uh, <clears throat> won't kill him in the end, but and your punishment will follow. I'd rather not. I'd rather have him spend the rest of his life in jail suffering then kill him and then on top of that snow will be happier with us we'll be able to get his side of the story the community will be able to see that we brought him in and we we took care of the problem overall i think it's just a smarter move so we'll we'll see i don't know part of me <laughs> wanted to freaking rip his face off but we'll see what happens man hopefully this was the right decision i know i know but we have to do something are you fucking kidding me when is this thing happening are we sure he's coming Yes, you'll have an opportunity to. He's back. I got him. A crooked man. Thank God. Motherfucker. <laughs> Are you okay? It's been hours. We were worried you'd run into some trouble at the crooked man's place. And after what happened with Mary. It's nothing. I'm fine. I guess you've been worse. You did well, Sheriff. I'm surprised. Not that you did well, but that, you know... I didn't kill him. <laughs> I'm glad you made it back in one piece. It's about time you showed up. Now throw this asshole down the fucking well. Yes, what are you waiting what do you for? Have to you say murderer! For my you one killed one Lily! Was my Where the fuck do you and get off? Faith? You think you have the right you to just do this to people? Said, You're a fucking sir, crook! Yes. You should be Fucking ashamed. Shithole. Everyone, can I have your attention? Thank you all for coming here on such short notice. I know normally we'd schedule a formal hearing, but considering the circumstances, I thought it best if we do this as soon as possible. The crooked man is charged with the murder of as Faith and- As I already and... informed your sheriff, it was Mr. Georgie Porgy who killed those women, not me. What? It was Georgie? Georgie? I don't mean to interrupt you, Miss White. But I thought it would be unwise to proceed with such faulty information. Bigby, is that true? Well, is it? 
I already took care of Georgie, so drop what it. What do you mean you took care of him? Is he still out there? I sincerely hope not. Well, where is he? Sheriff? Georgie was a victim of this psycho, too. He was pushed into the whole thing, and now he's dead. He's... what? Dead. So you see, the culprit has been punished. There's no That need doesn't for change this. anything. We'll deal with it later, but right now, you're the one I'm concerned with. You called the shots. Georgie made that perfectly clear. In which case, you still have a lot to answer for. And I was I told don't... I would be allowed to speak. We have to read the rest of the charges. What other charges? If you'd wait a moment. Let her finish. Then you can have your say. Got it? If you insist. <clears throat> Snow appreciates you that, baby. You are charged with the murder of Faith and Lily, which Georgie carried out on your order, inciting violence against various members of the Fabletown community, including the attempted murder of Sheriff Bigby Wolf. Twice. A misunderstanding. Aiding and providing monetary support for the forced prostitution at the Pudding and Pie. Additionally, you are charged with multiple counts of fraud, extortion, racketeering, and the illegal possession and sale of magical artifacts. And resisting arrest. Oh, yes. Now is there anything you would like to say? <laughs> she just shut him down. I had nothing to do with Faith and Lily. So you can strike that one from your little record book. Bullshit! Like hell you did. Stop the charade. We know you're involved. Come on, it's obvious. And there's all the other crap he's done. Everyone just shut up for a minute. If you wanted a chance to talk, well go ahead. What? We all know he's guilty. What the fuck does he need to speak for? The crooked man has committed crimes against this government, and most importantly, its citizens. These charges, if proven, are enough to justify death. Upon which your body will be committed to the witching where realm. it fucking belongs. That's so right. let's get but on with it. But we promised you a chance to defend yourself, and I won't rob you of that right. What the You're fuck? Really this is about talk? justice. If we're ever going to pull ourselves together and make something of this town, we have to start doing things correctly. No more snap judgments. No more secrets. We are going to treat everyone fairly, even when they don't deserve it. This is ridiculous. Why are you uncuffing him? 